Very good morning. I be to the honorable judges, teachers, ladies, and gentlemen. Here I am today to open up your mind on the issue of junk foods. The title of the discussion here today is The Happy of Taking Junk Foods Among Malaysian Teenagers. First and foremost, I would like to touch on what exactly junk food is. Junk food is a slang word for food which is quick and easy to prepare but with limited nutritional value. Every person has their own list of foods that they call junk foods. This includes foods that are high in salt, sugar, fat, or calories. Salted snack foods, candy, gum, mostly desserts, fried fast food, and carbonated beverages are some of the major junk foods. Generally, they contain very little protein, vitamins, or minerals, but lots of calories. The term empty calories shows the lack of nutrients. There are four big words to describe on how lovable junk food is. Tasty, sweet, affordable, and easily reachable. Despite its unhealthiness, there are many reasons for people to love junk foods. The habit of snacking on junk food has always been a norm to the citizens of Malaysia, especially children and teenagers. You know, junk food isn't good for you. However, it is hard to avoid because food companies have mastered perfect skills to take in control of your taste buds and your heart. These flavors keep you coming back for more. Now tell me how hard it is to resist the temptation of junk food. One of the main disadvantages is that it leads to a massive weight gain. Junk food are high energy dense foods because they contain a lot of calories, mostly from fat and sugar, but offer very few nutritional benefits. When you fill yourself up with empty calories, you may be left craving for more. The tendency to overeat is rather high, as junk foods are tasty. When this happens consistently for a period of time, it will lead to a serious weight issues and obesity. Although we know that obesity doesn't happen in a day, Junk food is the main culprit in causing such problems among the society in our country as Malaysians are food lovers and we are spoiled with a variety of foods across the country. Next, junk food leads to a heavy malnutrition among the kids and teenagers. The teen years are a rapid growth and development. In fact, teenagers need more calories during this period. According to the American Academy of Pediatrics, teens who eat junk foods tend to be less healthy. Loading up on junk food may affect a teen's weight, nutritional intake, and health. Most teens don't eat enough fruits and vegetables each day, leading them to vitamin deficiency which will affect their growth. Additionally, many teens don't eat enough fruits and vegetables. Additionally, many teens don't meet their daily calcium needs, which might increase the risk of poor bone health later in life. Too much of junk foods not only causes serious health problems, it will also lower than the concentration level of kids and teenagers. Junk food and foods with high sugar content lower down the energy level and cause them not to focus while studying. Energy and focus are especially important for school age children as they need to focus in class in order to maximize their learning progress. Regularly, eating junk food does not provide the main nutrient children need for the energy to their to enjoy their co-curricular activities. A lack of outdoor activity is harmful 
to the growth of kids and teenagers. In a nutshell, health is well. We should take care of our health properly and learn how to replace junk foods with healthy snacks like nuts and fruits which are rich in vitamins and nutrients. These healthy snacks not only can boost up our growth and maintain our health, it will but also spruce up our life. We are what we eat. So let's cultivate a healthy habit by eating healthy snacks like fruits instead of mommy monster. Thank you.